What are you doing? Stretch feet. Stretch feet. Stretch feet. Stretch feet. Come on. Stretch feet. You were trying to kill yourself? Uh, we got dispatched to a call of a gentleman who was out in the parking lot uh, shooting off rounds at the propane tank. All right. Hey! Let me see your hands, bro! Stand up! Initially, upon arrival, my first thought was that he was either intoxicated on narcotic or alcohol. He wasn't moving. Then I saw his legs starting to kind of rock back and forth. Uh, it was apparent though after we started issuing commands that he was not in the correct state of mind and that he was trying to taunt us to uh, give him some action that he wanted us to use against him. Las Vegas Metropolitan Police, put your hands above your head. Roll over to your stomach. Keep your hands where I can see them. Put them above your head. Hey! hey. Stop reaching! When somebody's not listening to our commands, it it changes the, the situation. We don't know what they're thinking, what their mindset is. Especially with this call, with the detail saying that he had a firearm. Put your hands on your head. Somebody come up with a little lethal. Get a little lethal. Get a little lethal. Get Three your John, hands get a little lethal. Get hey, somebody get a little lethal and hit him if he goes for that back. Lethal. We all carry uh, low lethal shotguns inside the inside our vehicles. They contain a, a bean bag, which is shot out, and it's to subdue a subject or get them to to stop what they're doing. It, it's a compliant technique that we use. Get your hands out of the bag. He's reaching for a 413, we think. Watch that bag. Watch that bag. And I had told Officer Grimes, if he goes back towards that backpack, let's use that bean bag. That way, we can distract him, get him away from the backpack where we thought the firearm would be located, and we could rush. Uh, at him, take him into custody. Get away from the bag! He's already done it once. Hit him! Hit him with it now! Hit him! Keep hitting him! Keep hitting him! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Get medical. Get any with a low lethal. He did mention to us that he wanted to commit suicide by by police officer, which is common, common throughout the United States, and is something that us police officers that's the last thing that we want to do. There's no reason to take a life because someone else is going through hard times. Now, hey, uh, you seem like a decent guy, and, and I think we need to get you get you the right help. You know, brother. You know, if there's uh, ever time that you're feeling down and out. We're not just here to take people to jail. You know, you can always call and talk to us. That was definitely one of our uh, more intense calls. Looking back at it, it definitely is one that will stick with me. But again, that's why we go through extensive training uh, along an academy of seven months, as well as field training, which is up to six months. And it's repetitive training that prepares us for moments like this. Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Do not reach it, don't reach in your pocket! I hatched the door when he wasn't even in the room. If I would have went after him with a hatchet, I would have hatched him. I would have hatched his face. I was just mad. I just want the drugs out of my house. Well, I know, but you're not in charge, OK? Uh, you're not in charge of you. Uh, maybe I am. Uh, perhaps you're not. What happened to your shirt? There's a big hole in it. Were you fighting? Oh, boy. 